Hey, what's going on guys? It is T90 Official and welcome to another Age of Empires 2 video. This one is very unique, something we've never done before. This is a minimap cast. I did this on my stream two days ago and, and it's pretty simple. Neely and I casted an Age of Empires 2 game while only looking at the minimap. So throughout this game, because you guys will see the whole thing, we might get some things incorrect. We don't know what the player civilizations are. We don't know what the strategies are. We don't know anything except what's going on on the minimap. It was a challenge to cast this way, and there were some funny moments. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the okay, okay, L yeah. LB is yellow, and then in the teal is cloud. Okay, okay. So I'm going to stay on LB's point of view for this cast. Um, and then you can talk about cloud, and we can listen in on cloud, but... Yeah, guys, we are casting with only the minimap. You guys can see the actual screen. Uh, so this, we might might be wrong, but Nilly and I are going to cast as if we're right every single time. <laughs> okay, so we don't have Marians, Hans, or Chinese here. And we're still producing villagers. Let's take a look at our map. I will kind of always talk at the team here for Teal because every time I look at them, I will feel like I'm with him. We have a defensive wood line, solid to go to the left hand side, open berries, and I don't think that this center area is really wallable. And we will have some hills here. How is it looking over at Abby Tents? <laughs> okay, a quick side note. The last time we did this, I had my whole other monitor as my mini map. <laughs> my, I need to get my eyes checked, man. <laughs> I can barely <laughs> see this. How did you do that last time? It's really small. No, I'm yeah. serious. This is tough. Okay, um, uh, LVCC is here to the northwest. There's a gold. Uh, and then to the south, it looks like he has a gold beyond the wood line. Uh, and then he has his other gold way out here to the northwest as well. <laughs> uh, two, two wood lines on the back for him. He also has a wood line in front of his TC. So I think if he builds out to the left hand of this wood line with his military buildings it might be good it's hard for me to tell if there's elevation between the players but i do feel like that uh, all that that control there because there's many choke points with the, the wood lines and whatnot that'll be important for them yeah i think there's a lot of hills in between them there's a big hill behind the forest and there's a big hill yeah. like in between them in front of teal space yeah i believe that i mean you can't see it the scouts are actually fighting each other now uh, probably fighting for that hill advantage, but yeah, I think oh, the hill Tila's winning. Tila's winning. Nice. Four more HP. I think Yellow needs to run. <gasps> How can you tell Teal's winning? No, T90. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Teal is winning. <laughs> and Yellow needs to run. Yellow's you running. You that pretty late, don't you think so? Uh, yeah, that was excellent analysis there, Nilly. Oh, Yellow won. Oh, Yellow won. Oh, my God. He had less HP and had to come back. Completely unexpected. I didn't, I didn't see that happening oh. there. Oh, that is huge because Cloud is going to need scouting. He needs to know what his opponent has, what strategies he will go for. And I see the scout now running the opposite direction for LB10, but I, I think he will know soon enough where Cloud is, and he's going to use this scouting to his advantage. Yeah. Cloud now getting his second board. Scout should be pretty low, I would say, like 3 HP is. Yeah. So he cannot really go close to the berries or the woodland. Yeah, as be careful he doesn't get sniped by a villager. Um... Four villagers on wood now for LB, so maybe man at arms for him. And it'd be a good strategy to maybe go forward and be even more aggressive now that his opponent doesn't know it's coming. Yeah, absolutely a possibility. Thing is, he also has two aggressive stone spots there, so he does not really want to get forwarded with the aggressive berries and wood line. So I think the potential forward is an option for it by him. Yeah. Now LB is scouting the golds there for Cloud, and he's going to see their they're in a nice position for later on in this game looks like cloud can place a tc there next to that golden wood line later on that'd be an excellent spot i believe the feudal yeah. age click just came in for lb10 uh, uh potentially i don't really know for, uh, we, I, oh, we just end garrisons here at the tc so i think we could be clicking up pretty soon yeah and i think lb10 going to go forward here they were just coming oh, out we, across the map and oh, i hear we just finished loom i, I believe we we just kicked up <laughs> You don't believe, you know, Nilly. You I know. know we just perfect start here. Pop twenty two and uh oh, oh, look over at the side. That's a five villager forward. That's tower rush. And yes, I hear the stone miners forward from LV ten, and this is something that Cloud cannot scout. 
because he lost his scout earlier. Will he expect this? Nearly tell us specifically what is Cloud going for? Okay, Cloud is trying to expand to the left-hand side. He's actually getting some deers here at the left-hand side, as it seems. And indeed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, two extra wood spots, so that's going to be scouts! Yep. And every Titan going for the aggression, but some nice quick walls. He finishes those walls and now sees the villager camping in front of his base. Did every just get up? LB10 did just get up, and now he's building a tower. I can hear uh -oh. it being built. Okay, so we are trying to reinforce those walls, walling some in the south, just finishing the barracks. So going back there, trying to protect the berries. Oh, and tower I goes up. Tower going up. Yeah, tower goes up. Uh, no barracks for LB10, so it's just a straight tower rush. And he's building another one now. Has Cloud yeah, reacted to this? Has he found stone, Nilly? Yeah, we have stone close to our woodland, and as you can see, we are building a defensive... Uh, we are getting that stone now, and we are building a defensive tower here, trying to protect our berries. W which woodland is it? I don't see it. The woodland to the left-hand side. Uh, okay. The scout and attacking there for a moment, LB needs to run away because it's on low HP, but... Oh, a villager dies now! LB10 killing a villager, and if you look, he's taking the time to wall up his base. Oh yeah, sweet stuff there, trying to set himself up for the long game. Obviously want to transition into a castle and his famous unique unit that everyone knows. Uh, and we have some outposts here to yeah, scout if more towers would come from LB10, but not for now. Yeah, I believe we have another tower here for LB. He's, just, he's thinking about it. There's a scout attacking. I'm so confused. A villager dies though. Oh, several villagers on both sides, some losses, trying to deny that tower, but the tower goes up, and now Cloud needs to defend. This is looking good for LB10. And looking good for LB10, and he is taking the time to wall up as well. And after he completes this wall, he will be fully walled, and then he'll secure that gold and maybe look towards the castle age and live with whatever advantage he has. I think he wants to build more towers, though. And Cloud is building... A defensive tower there to stop LB okay. from pushing in. Yeah, makes sense. And now he's even moving in with the villagers. Why did LB10 not wall his tower? This is so costly for him. Yeah, a villager goes down, but this tower will fall as well. Or will it? I think. Uh oh. I think LB's going tower to is going to go up, so Cloud's going to run from this because LB has another tower in range. So I think that's just enough to keep Cloud from battering that down, but you're right. LB should have walled that up. And yet the and tower goes up for LB10. Just for a change, take a close look at the minimap and see how beautifully LB10 is walling himself in. So he's transitioning into yeah the walls and probably Castle Age now doing some more towers. The problem is, how will the food eco look here for Cloud? Yeah, that could be an issue because the farms are not in their ideal position. You know, Nelly, it's a really good point. I rarely look at the minimap when I cast. <laughs> I, got, I, have, I have to make sure I do that more often. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, uh, and if, if we look at the exploration from Cloud, he didn't even find LB10 here because he lost that scout fight so early. Yeah. Luckily, he can build some farm close to his extra mill here, so doesn't need to build another mill here for all his farms. LB10 pushed in, he built another tower. Now, I think Cloud needs a response to this. LB hesitating for a moment. I think he's building another one now, but Cloud is also building one defensively there. Yeah. Will LB's tower like... go up? He has the Korean build bonus, so... Uh, I think both are going for... Yeah, I think both towers will go up. We heard an, an army going down. Let me take a look. Cloud has a stable, but we didn't scout anything, so I don't expect too many scouts to be on the map here. And I just heard a cancelled or deleted building. Yeah, that's got to be LB10. He knows he can't get his up, so he's going to retreat. And eventually this will stop for him, but as long as he keeps these towers up, that's good map control for him. And he just built a mining camp on his gold, so wouldn't surprise me to soon see a market. And then he'll buy his way to Castle Age, and... We'll have to see what options he chooses to go for. Oh, he's housed at the moment. That's sloppy from LB. 
Oh, yeah, it happens to the best of us. And let's see, we still have quite a lot of farms in the back, not on gold yet. So we are still pretty far in the village. Yeah, we are on some stone to go for some defensive towers. And now the side attack with the scouts. Trying to find a hole, but every 10 bulletproof. Yeah, I think these scouts for, for Cloud need to pick off the forward villagers. They really cannot get through. LB knows that LB has not even built a barracks, so he's not too worried about those scouts. Uh, you know, as he the... can easily always jump into the tower, so those yeah. to the front are fine. And now, well, I think I see a Cloud. hole there in the wall for LB. Oh, I have a quick bolt, quick bolt. So the scouts can't get in. You spotted that absolutely correctly yeah, there. I know. Nice it was... catch, but whew, LB10 was on his toes as well. Yeah, LB's been playing a lot lately. He's very active. So <clears throat> sometimes when you're rusty, you don't see the holes in those walls. And uh, we have another tower from LB. I think he needs to quick wall it here. Okay, tower. one tower goes up. Is he building two? The, oh, the scouts arrive. The villagers are now trapped if he gets to those not really walling perfectly but now the scouts need to run beautiful quick wall walls again by a ten. yeah and it's hard to tell might see him lose a villager to the scouts yes uh actually no cloud having to run away he just lost the scout there oh yeah okay now let me see what do we have we have uh blacksmith and the stable so clicking up should be an option we have two mining camp still and let me see two mills so we switched into gold i won't be surprised if we're clicking up any second no market yet for lb has the blacksmith i don't know man okay so um what i, I want to talk about okay there's the market for lb so i believe he's a i believe he's just clicked up i believe he's he, Ah oh, man, I keep making the mistake of uh, pressing hotkeys <laughs> so I can like see what they're doing. I believe he's about to click up. <laughs> what do you think he goes for? Does he go for? Uh, he's either. I think he's going for his unique unit. Yeah, unique unit. So he's either Koreans or Spanish, LB. So and I think he he's still heavy on stone, so maybe Spanish, and then he goes conquistadors. What about your guy, knights and camels, maybe? Uh, we, we added archer ranges, so oh. what civilization is going scouts and then into archers? Whoa, I, have, I have no idea. We, we aren't hunts. So, well, interesting. We will see. We will see. For now, only one archer range, so maybe, maybe it's just a trick here. Ooh, can uh Cloud pick off a villager? LB building another tower. Oh, one villager down. Oh, sweet stuff. And that tower is denied. Big win there. Every time a bit overextending. And, well, still the whole front control, as we can see here, for LB10. And, well, what will Cloud go for? He obviously has enough space to boom back here. Beautiful spots. Enough space for farming. Has another gold spot here. Ah, I think this game will go for some time. Yeah. Uh, good thing for Cloud right now is he has nice map control. And he's he's put a stop to those towers from LB. But we still don't know what is coming up next for LB10. I believe it's Conquistadors or War Wagons. Uh, both of those units oh, need to be masked what? and it's expensive. We are going three Archer Ranges. Three Archer Ranges, stable. wow. So that could be like... Uh, like... Saracens... No, we would go for Crossbows. Like Ethiopians? Turks. No, we... we Aren't building archers. We are waiting for CA. Oh, you're I waiting for Magyars. CA. Magyars, okay. That? And he started yeah. with that would make sense. He started with scouts. Table? Yeah. Yeah. So Okay. Yeah. Magyars uh, against Koreans. Or Spanish. Okay, okay. So we'll it's see. either it's either Koreans or Spanish for LB or Yeah, I like we, your Magyars choice. Well we we have we have to be up. Because I didn't hear villagers. Oh, and a castle A castle just went up for LB. He's in Castle Age. Castle's up oh. forward. And oh, we are Castle Age now as well. Okay, we'll know soon enough what LB's going for. I'm going to guess Conquistadors, because I don't think he would go War Wagons here. So that castle's on the front, and he is walled. These are Palisade walls and House walls. They're not Stone walls just yet. But that castle's in a perfect position to protect that gold. 
Und ja, yeah, uh, we see Cloud now going for indeed out uh, ca uh, uh, and now trying to get some raids done. That thing is that he actually walled the top, so needs to walk for quite some time. Needs to defend some, maybe some siege weapons could be nice. And LB <clears throat> sending his, yeah, those have to be conquistadors. Conquistadors forward has a monastery, can collect the relics that are to the north, and also can get conversions on. Well, he probably expects some knights, but it will be CA for clouds. Oh, and. It seems like LB10 now wanted to go for some stone here, but thought better of it and is now building a TC here and is now picking more stone. So that could be double Conquistadors. Here come the Conquistadors right next to the towers and I think there's CA there as well. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yes. <laughs> it has to be like, like it has to be Turks or... Turks Spanish. or Magyars. Yeah. I'm, no, think Turks, I'm thinking... Yeah. Like it's gunpowder. Oh, oh, you're saying, uh, yeah, it has to be Conquistadors because of the movement speed. <laughs> and I hear a Maganel. That, that's probably a Maganel from Cloud. Cloud is trying to to take out those towers. And the Conquistadors are really putting up a fight here. And I hear a Maganel go down. Maganel focused down by the towers and the conks. Oh, and they are running over. We did get another TC up here at the outside, so that was pretty nice. Could not have happened if those two towers would have gone up. And yeah, now let's see how those CA will defend against the Conquistadors. Do you think we will see maybe a very aggressive castle since every 10 is still on stone? Yeah, I think that that's kind of the play here with Spanish, especially in, in this uh, Civ matchup. So maybe two TCs, I believe he has a t main TC and then second forward. Stay on stone and build a castle right next to where your towers were. And be aggressive in those areas and just... Uh, not allow Cloud to use his mobility with the CA. And that's the key here. And so far, this is looking good for LB because Cav Archers can be massed easier because you can create them out of archery ranges, and that has not happened yet. LB, he's the one being aggressive, and he's done a great job to be stubborn with these towers, though some of them are getting shot down now. Oh, and I hear a lot of towers, maybe some magnets as well. We just have our siege workshop, so it has to be a lot of magnets from LB10. And CA against towers, conquistadors, and magnets, this will be tough for them. Yep, uh, good pick off there for Cloud. Cloud CA able to pick off a, uh, a cav archer. I mean, sorry, CA picking off conquistador. And now yeah. that he has ballistics, that'll really help because conquistadors don't benefit from that. So I think Cloud's taking some good engagements. You see LB running away now. Oh, yeah. And those CA, beautiful micro there, not taking too many shots from the Mangonels. He keeps up producing, but big problem is still only two TCs still super exposed. And look at that. That's a lot of villagers going forward. This is a second castle coming up from LB10. Yeah, LB10 also adding monks forward so he can get conversions on enemy siege if he'd like to get redemption. Don't know if he can afford that, though, because he's building, uh, putting so many resources into this forward castle. But here we go. The villagers are forward. That's got to be a castle. Oh, and this is going to be an outcastle. If I've ever seen one, this castle on the CA are coming in, trying to defend with the Magnus. This is going so tricky. Yeah, the CA running in. The Magnus micro is so important for both. The castle is going to go up. Oh, I don't think so. It's still a lot of CA, but now they need to retreat. Every 10 will get that castle up. Oh, man. Yeah, it was so close. The CA tried to go in there to pick off a few more villagers, but did not have the firepower there. And there's the castle for LB. That is right next to the starting TC for Cloud. And so much map control for LB. All of his resources, like his golds and whatnot, that could have been exposed there... They're all protected now because of his aggression. I say that, though, and the CA are going out in a counterattack. They might be able to pick off villagers on this wood line. Yeah, and as, as we see before, saw before, that's only one layer of palisades here. Yeah, some houses behind here, but going through the center, that could be some dead woods, especially because LB10 doesn't have that many TCs. Uh, it'll be more annoying than anything. Uh, the castle for LB is on the left here, so... I think he'll mass conquistadors, but the cav archers can't stay there for too long. I guess the question is now... How does Cloud stop his base from being destroyed? Oh, so tricky. And yeah, just the Conquistador masses. We don't even have a stable anymore to snipe the Mangalots. I see just too many 
arrows flying from all those cars that tower at the front and we probably will lose that TC here at the site. It's looking good for LB10. It is looking good for LB10. And we actually talked about the elevation earlier for Cloud right here uh, to the north of his TC. He can't really place farms there easily or TC, so it's hard for him to, uh, to catch up an economy because all of his flat grounds is where all the disruption has been. So true, but we have a 30 seed there at the top, still pretty protected, pretty far away. At the moment, not a lot of fighting. Seems like both players kind of leaking their wounds. Yep. Has been sometimes since Cloud was really doing some damage. LB10 may be close to clicking up to the Imperial Age now. I, see, I hear him adding an extra mill for more farms. I also saw him using the market a little bit there a few moments ago. The one thing that could let LB down is the lack of scouting. He needs to know where Cloud could branch out to. I don't know if Cloud sees that gold to the north of his TCs. Maybe you could tell me. Uh, but, oh, the Conquistadors are going that direction, and the CI are going forward to LB10's base. We have Ooh. two big attacks. And this is so unprotected here. We're already losing some CA against the castle and the towers here, and this is going to be ugly trying to pull the villagers over to the left-hand side, but we will have some losses for sure. Yep. There are those Conquistadors, Villagers going down, the Villagers for Cloud running around to the TC. And now they're garrisoned. So it might not be the end of the world. Meanwhile, LB... Uh, he's taking some losses on that wood line to the Cav Archers from Cloud. So kind of 50-50 oh. kind of engagements. Okay, splitting off those Conquistadors beautifully here. Still some towers, but raiding them so nice. And look at that, a single shot, a single kill. Those are snipers. Oh, wow. Yeah, Conquistadors do so much damage in low numbers. And the Cav Archers, you really need more numbers. You need to mass them. You need to get Thumb Ring, get upgrades on them. And wow, more villagers going down for Cloud. But oh, Cloud's running into LB10's base. He knows he needs to do more. Oh, yeah. And those are a lot of unprotected farmers picking off some Conquistadors moving in here. And that's just beautiful micro here by Cloud. And he will pick up more. Luckily, LB10 just finished that TC here and won't get too many kills. But well, we'll pick off some. Oh, the TC's not up yet. Okay, now it goes up. Perfect timing there. That was a panic oh. TC. But Cloud is sitting underneath it now. Uh, Cloud picking off villagers either way. I might have been a bit ahead of you. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Sure, uh, no. sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's see if the raid continues to the north. It seems like Conquistador in the south all have been cleared up, but with heavy losses, LB10, a solid 15 villagers ahead here. Well, now that's 16 actually, but yeah, Cloud's about to get cleaned up. LB10 will be able to push back. He's still pushing the main TC area of Cloud. And I think Cloud is going to have to dance here. He needs to micro because Conquistador's... <clears throat> They struggle versus units that get ballistics. You hear both armies engaging. As, I guess Cloud feels like that's a good engagement, and it is. Oh, yeah, indeed. Conquistador's not hitting well enough. Beautiful runner there, having ballistics as well. Was just knight at the same time. He's losing his TC, though. Villagers just need to run, but so many Magnots still doing the damage. Yeah, it's, it's so weird how Cloud's base is being, being split here. It's like a cumulonimbus cloud. <laughs> the Conquistadors oh, are going to pick off the Cav Archers. Finally, LB10 cleans this up, and then he can put all of his focus forward again. Yeah, beautiful play. We really have to question this TC, honestly. It's so much on the outside. Yeah, he was happy to control this whole wood line, but ah, it's so tricky stuff. Now he's trying to do some micro here, but oh, that was a big shot against him. Yeah, nice shot there. You hear the units going down, and it's just looking better and better for LB. The only real complication for him was was the raid in his base there, and now all the Conquistadors are coming back forward to join a fight that he's already winning. And you just hear the villagers dying for Cloud. He's not happy about this, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it's so tricky. Okay, let's take a look. Cloud, how many TCs? One, two... Only two TCs? He lost his main TC in the meanwhile. To that castle, apparently, so... Ay, yeah, yeah, this is tricky. Now trying to save all those villagers, trying to get back into the base, but where to? Still not a lot of gold, still no vision of that top gold here. This is getting tricky. He's so cornered. It, it gets worse because LB just clicked up to Imp. He just clicked oh, up no, to no. Imp. And I don't think Cloud can afford to do so. He's losing uh. so many villagers. LB has such good eco back at home. 
Owen trying to close the doors behind him, but so many villagers dying here, not in time. And the Conquistadors will push in as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Cloud has a GG here pretty soon. So many Conquistadors out, and CA numbers not really there. Yeah, you need to outmass the, the Conquistadors. Two castles for LB creating these things, denying resources, killing vills, and uh, LB10 using the market a little bit again to assist... And he picks off Maganel from Cloud. That is not going to be enough for Cloud. We're still producing out of four archer ranges here, but look at how little gold we are having left. This is going to be pretty tricky pretty soon. All the front control here is so well fortified by Albitan. And Cloud does not see that gold right next to his walls in the north. He needs that gold there. He does not see it. And LB, I mean, he also doesn't see it, but he does not need that gold. Okay, spot now the conquistadors. They had a good field trip when they went there the last time. Yep. Let's take a look if they're trying to fight something down first. Now going on some buildings, but now they're going in for the kill again. I guess the question is, does he want to go up this hill? The cab archers are waiting on the hill. Cloud knows he'll have an advantage there, but LP, uh, he sees it and he'll just run back. He does not want to fight without the hill advantage. Yeah, luckily we just finished this TC here, so yeah. The monks who are healing those conquistadors still and oh trying to set himself up for the very long game with that very little control. Oh, we are up to him. I'm I'm still waiting for the trebs for LV because apparently he's on his way to imp. Oh, he's on his way up now. I accidentally cheated. He's on his way up. Woohoo! So uh this would be a good time for Cloud to get upgrades on a CA. Okay, yeah, well, we'll see. Blacksmith, as you can see, upgrading Grazer now, so he will soon take pretty good engagement, plus one range. Thing is, we don't have... We have a castle, so maybe even plus two range, plus two attack here oh, with the Intex. Oh, the question is, can he afford that, though, Nilly? Because after losing those 11 Lumberjacks in the south earlier... Ah, oh, that was so deadly, yeah. yeah. If I remember that, that still, like, burned into my eyes. <laughs> The, the Trebs now as well, that's another thing the castle offers, obviously, and probably a wiser decision to go into the trebuchets if you're Cloud and try and take out the Spanish advantage, which is the castles. Yeah, but are the Conquistadors really the unit he wants to go for in the long run? I think the transition into, like, Harbor Deer and maybe Sea Trebs could be an option. Um, well, <clears throat> I think what he can do now... Because for a while, he hasn't been dictating the fights. So finally, he's dictating the fights. And if he can push LB back enough, then he can finally use his mobility and start hitting those other areas to the north and to the west. Uh, well, not the west. He's in the west east. LB building outposts now so he can find some extra resources out here. Has a monk here sitting here idle. And trying to get those relics, recognizing this is going late game. So uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I, I do think that Cloud needs to take out this castle. And then he needs to start branching out a little bit. Okay, and we with only 85 villagers, still trying to stabilize, trying to clear up the front, trying to get back to our resource here at the front, but obviously LB10 was getting them already, so not a lot of gold left over here. And yeah, let's see the next engagement. I believe those CA in Imp, they will perform pretty well. Yep, not enough of them for, uh, for Cloud to be able to justify raiding now and leaving his main group. He's still with the trebuchets. You see them here now. And since LB is an imp as well, he can go for a bit of a treb war if he'd like. He's adding stables to raid with Hussar though, and he wants to raid the northern side of Cloud's base. That is walled off, but I think there might be a hole in that wall, or at least this will be busted down. This will be good for LB because he can control this gold, which again, Cloud does not see. Yeah. That's so true. That's so ugly for him still. And oh, look at the re uh, research tab. That's plus one attack, plus one range for those CA. Wow. Still not heavy CA, but still that damage output is scary. And that's why we don't see an engagement from those conquistadors. And now we are preparing our halberdier switch. Wow, halberdiers. It, it's a good move for Mad Girls because you get the extra attack. I just love how LB is getting map control. Look at his line of sight. He's building stables in the southern corner and the northern corner, and he's going to begin raiding. But with that unique tech now, here come the cav archers. 
Yeah, let's take a look. Some conversion against us. We are trying to hit and run some. Thinking better of it going back. Let the traps do the work. Trying to stabilize. Now up to 96 villagers. Two TCs running here and, well, didn't take some damage for quite some time. Too many Conquistadors for him to engage. They're also a hill advantage for LB. And those monks just huge, healing up the Conquistadors after they took some shots for free earlier on running up this hill. Uh, you know, LB hasn't made a move yet with Hussars. He hasn't let Cloud know that he's going to be raiding from different angles. It's kind of a wise move to wait a little bit, right? Just wait till you have proper numbers. A lack of wood now for LB, though, and his farms are expiring. Oh, that's ugly. Okay, we're researching heavy CA now, pikeman upgrade, not enough gold for the harbor the upgrade, but soon before the first engagement, I believe, he will have harbor deers, and then we're trying to push the center. At the moment, it's still time to stabilize yeah. for Mr. Cloud. Cloud needs one big fight, and it's got to be up that center hill. It's got to be right here. Uh, units being spammed out now. I believe we're seeing uh, elite skirmisher. Yeah, elite skirmishers now for LB. Perfect against CA. Perfect against Halb. So that'll complement the the conquistadors. And now the hussars are going to be raiding in the north. You can see them being created now. Okay, and the south finally we're back in, getting back to that gold spot. So Harbour the upgrade will kick in pretty soon as well. Now big engagement. The center could be coming in. I think that's too much yellow for me. Yeah, LB, he's the one taking this engagement. He knows this will be good. And Cloud pushed back once again. And the trebuchet is going down now. Cloud is in trouble. That is a large group of military for LB-10. Is, is, is that cavalry? I, I think like cavaliers, right? It was so fast and so much. Maybe some ranch in the front and then some cavaliers yeah. trying to take that. And since we're not having the harbor the upgrade, that's a fight that Cloud could not really take. Yeah, and that's before the skirmishers join as well. You see the archery range is on the hill. Soon the skirmishers will join and here come the, the Hussar and the Conquistadors. The Hussars are going for Vilpix, the Conquistador is behind, Cloud just cannot get this monkey off his back, these Conquistador is so tough to handle, it's looking very good for LB10. But aren't those overextending? Maybe now the heavy CA are closing down the distance. Finally, Harbor Deer is closing this in. This is somewhat cost efficient for Cloud here. This was very gold intense. But what this well, does yeah. though is it gives LB an opportunity to switch the angles. Now he's raiding from the south. So he's hitting villagers. He's killing villagers now. And you can hear and see how many will drop. And LB just pulls back to his hill. And, you know, he, he has the angles now with this map control and Cloud losing far too much. Trying to find my mouse pointer, okay. Yeah, but we have now some race <laughs> at the top. And I think gold efficient wise, that was pretty fine. If only this hole was fortified a bit more, he could have trapped the whole army. Now some raids in the gold here. I still feel Cloud needs to stabilize here at only pop 125. Yeah, and meanwhile, it's 164 for LB10. Ay, ay, ay. I didn't expect that high number, but yeah. Oh, I think it's not looking good. And look at that this strong army here in the center ah cloud he's trying to get back into this game with a big raid will it be enough yeah i mean there's raids from both players now cloud needs to not take damage and dish out a ton of his own and he's killing quite a few bills in this wood line the problem is the elite skirmishers can't catch up to these uh, ca so that's about eight nine villagers down for lb but cloud he's losing some as well Oh boy, and now some more raids in the back. This is so many dead villagers here. Now really fighting to stay in three digit numbers. If those CAs aren't really doing the damage, then we're having trouble. Still only at three TCs, we kind of expanded. Harbor deer production still continuing, trying to defend here, but this is tricky. And now all the heavy CA, what can they do? Well, he's going to try and bust through this wall. It's still a palisade wall, so he'll go through. But I imagine he'll run right into TC's and oh man, LB's coming behind him! LB's coming behind with the Hussar and Cavalier and the Elite Skirmishers will probably join as well. I think this army dies, it's just a matter of how much damage Cloud does and I don't think it'll be enough. Oh, he yeah, just... And trying to get the quick walls behind there, but uh, it seems like Cloud is squeezing through so can run home, but with some losses, not a lot of raids done. 5 CA dead, no real kills. Yeah, and now we'll see the Rams. This is one thing. Since it's just a lot of trash, apart from those Cav Archers, uh, adding Siege Ram would be an excellent move for LB. 
I can't quite afford the Siege Ram right now, but he can't afford Capped Ram. And, oh, that's a very good fight versus CA as well. Nice job of grouping up his Conquistadors. And keeping them alive really is paying dividend now. Nice clear up here in the south, trying to protect his TCs. But at the moment, only having one defensive castle there in an area that isn't really getting attacked. Not enough. If only he could buy himself up, maybe build another castle at the top. Because those raids are so deadly. Yep. Well, now LB, as he's lost his southern area, he's spamming forward right up the gut. Now, will this be the last push? He has the extra gold for Siege Ram. Lots of okay. trash for him. Lots of trash for him. The skirmishers okay, is what he lacked. He, he teched in the skirm, but he didn't push forward with them. Now he's adding them in. Okay, trying to go into the top again. Sneak even some villagers through here, trying to get some more stables up. What a beautiful move. And now, oh god, Cloud is going back further and further. He kind of is getting the higher number, pop 130, but that's mainly harbor yeah. some CA still left. 3TC is running for him, but now the center push, how can it be stopped? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see the GG within the next 10 to 15 seconds. So many losses for Cloud. He's done a fantastic job at staying alive here, but LB has so much control. And I just don't see him being stopped now. He can get the relics. That's one thing he hasn't done with his map control. But he's had the extra gold piles, and he's killing so much of the army for Cloud. And he's trying to push in through the center now. That's so much army. And oh! GG's. GG's. LB10 wins the game. Are we allowed to watch, uh, take a look? I, I want to look so bad. <laughs> I want to look so bad as well. I hope I... Oh, God. Oh, I didn't have the right overlay. It's beautiful. Oh, no. There's let, a let me game a here. It's it's beautiful. Oh. <sighs> so, Conquistadors, Skirms. Now, the Skirms were pretty late. He was going Paladins. Oh, uh, not even heavy CA. Now, I didn't think... I wasn't sure if he could afford it. And we it. didn't have the special tech. No. What what was he doing? I uh, he didn't have eco, man. Um, oh. oh, that's just a point. So you, you're right on Halb. You're right on CA. We, we pretty much got it. Uh, I guess LB had such a big advantage. He was able to afford Paladin, uh, and then he just he just waited for skirms later on. Paladins? Did we have Paladins? Oh yeah. Yeah, he was going. It wasn't Hussar. It wasn't Hussar. It was Paladin. Oh. Was he? Oh, I didn't even add in siege rams. What a loser, LB. Come on, man. I was so sure. I heard the siege workshops, and I was thinking it would have been siege ram. <laughs> but uh, okay, <laughs> that was so How much was fun, man. Uh, that was a hill there. Oh, so much. Dude, fun. I, 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 so much want to switch between giving you high fives and hugging you. <laughs> it was so good, honestly. Oh, so much fun. I, I don't think people... Uh, chat was loving it more this time, but I don't think people realize just how much fun it is for us to realize oh. that we got it right. Oh. The, the, there was actually a villager sneak at the left-hand side. You I weren't was kidding! So confused. You weren't kidding! Oh, man. Didn't you say I, that? I thought... I, I said that, but I thought, like, it could be a Hassa, but why wouldn't he attack? A Hassa is quite a big <laughs> line of sight. So that was actually a bit of sneaking. Oh Sick. man, fantastic, man. Sick. It was both Hussar and Paladin. All right, Arvitap, so I got that right. Um, I think- Why didn't he have- I think the, the plus one range and plus one attack- Oh, but by the way, pretty well done by us figuring out the chips as well. Oh, the sieves, I know. Like, it, it was smart from you to, to guess CA, right? But I pretty much knew, like, a, a naked trush has to be Spanish or Koreans. And once I realized he was going to build the castle, I was thinking, okay, this is gonna be, this has gotta be Spanish. Cause Koreans would probably just go tower defense a lot and boom, and then build the castle later on. Um, hmm. Yeah, man. Beautiful, I, beautiful stuff. I, I think we did a hell of a job there. That was, <laughs> yeah. that was fun. Yeah. A big fancy baby says, couldn't Tootin as well do a naked trash? Well, you could, but, the build-up after that is really what made me think it was Spanish. You wouldn't build a castle then. That would be seen as a waste from pro players. So, um, yeah. unless you were losing your advantage, you wouldn't want and to build a castle. I feel like it couldn't be Koreans as well, because you normally don't wall your whole base. You just do like three, four defensive towers. You're, uh, that's true as well, because now Koreans are so stupidly strong, you just build towers. Okay. Well, um...
Great stuff. That was that was fun. I'm glad we did it this way because one hour, one minute game. Whew. And I was really close with the GGs as well. Now I think some yeah. of the text, like I'm pretty sure I got LB's Imperial time way wrong. <laughs> I said he was on his way to imp and I don't think he was close. I heard the sound in the chat, like you know how it, the overlay says uh, yeah, uh, yeah, when yeah. someone goes up. I think Cloud clicked up at that point. But um Or maybe market, right? Both said market. Yeah, it could have been that too. But it was just the way the game was developing. Someone had to click up to imp because it had it had yeah. it had stalled. Oh, Cloud clicked up at that time. Wow, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Wow. But um, also could have been like build a castle. I completely missed that cloud build a castle. I just yeah. didn't think that you would go for a castle. There's so many overlay alerts. You're right. Tricky stuff. I'm, that was beautiful. I man. am proud of us, man. We killed <laughs> it. I didn't even. I haven't rewatched this. I can't wait to rewatch it later. But I oh, am yeah. proud of our casting there because I feel like we did a great job. You should rewatch the moment when LB10 built that forward castle. Okay. When was that? Was it, was that when we casted it? Because it's kind I'm of pretty sure we there got it so right. Many, so many dots moving. <laughs> you know what the problem was though? We were trying to say that he wasn't going to get the castle up, and like at towers were killing Mac and L's and stuff. We were just guessing at what was actually happening.